Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get every single trophy in the new Cuphead DLC. Um, I struggled on these when I was trying to do it originally. I played, I got all of, all of the trophies when it first came out. So I wanted to let some of you know how to beat it. Or how to get all the trophies. So, yeah, let's just get into it. The first trophy we're going to be looking at is a vacation in the wilds. This is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is beat every single boss in the DLC. This can be done on normal mode. I'm not going to do a guide on how to beat every single one of them because all of them are pretty straightforward. You just have to put in enough attempts until you beat them. But you have to beat this boss. You have to go down here. Beat this one. And then you can cut across and go to this one. And then go across to the cactus. Right here. And then you're going to want to go over to here. Beat all of those five and you'll get all the ingredients. And then you're going to want to come back over to Chef Salt Baker's Kitchen. And then you can do the boss fight. And once you finish that, the trophy will be completed. The next trophy is going to be the Ranger achievement, which is basically the same as the first achievement, but you have to beat every single boss with an A rank or higher. This means A minus, A or A plus, or S rank, if you're on expert mode. And I would recommend doing it with Miss Chalice, because she is harder to learn, but you are able, you spawn with four hearts instead of three and that does not decrease your damage. So you get an extra hit while doing the same amount of damage as you would without the extra hit. So just a quick tip there. The next achievement will be the Alive and Kicking achievement. This is earned by defeating any boss in the DLC or in the regular game with the Miss Chalice character. This is pretty simple, especially if you choose to play as Miss Chalice when beating all the bosses in the DLC, then you would already have this achievement. The next achievement will be the Decadent achievement. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But you're going to need to defeat 10 bosses with Miss Chalice, and that's going to be 10 different bosses. So if you want to do this easily, I'd recommend just going to Inkwell Isle 1 and Inkwell Isle 2 and beating all of the bosses there with Miss Chalice, which will there be 5 in the first and 5 in the second, and you'll, uh, you'll get the trophy on the final boss you beat. Once you beat 10 different ones, they cannot be the same, they have to be different, but once you beat the 10 different ones, the trophy will appear. Alright, so for the next achievement, this is going to be the Golden Touch achievement. This is earned by defeating any boss with Miss Chalice's super. It doesn't matter which super you use, obviously only the first and third one can do damage. But I'm going to show you how to get this easily. What you want to do is go over to the root pack boss fight. You're going to want to save your super for the final phase. You can use some... Uh, you can use some special attacks to get them down faster. What you wanna get, what you wanna do is change the, to the charge shot during this final phase and shoot the carrot ten times. Make sure you don't shoot him any other time. You're only gonna wanna hit him ten times with the charge shot. So this is the second one. And I have to be fully charged. So we keep going, that's four, five. Miss that one. Once you've done 10, you're going to want to use the super art, the vertical one, and this should kill him instantly, which will get you the trophy because you finished it off with the super art. And that's pretty much it for this trophy. Once you finish off the boss fight and you've killed them with that, then you'll get the achievement. Alright, so for the next achievement, we're back at the root pack, because it's 
easiest boss in the game. You're gonna need to defeat any boss, it doesn't matter if it's DLC or normal. You're gonna need to defeat it with one of the new weapons. Either the crack shot, the converge, or the twist up, I'm pretty sure it's called. You have to defeat any boss, like I said, it doesn't matter which boss you defeat. But as long as you beat it with one of the new weapons, it'll appear. Like I'm doing right now, I would I would advise you to use the crack shot. It doesn't really matter, it just does the most damage, I think. I'm not 100% sure which one does the most damage, but I've used the crack shot to get the majority of my S ranks in against the new DLC bosses. And I know it works pretty well because they always... Either you hit it directly for more damage, or you miss, and it always hits pretty much always, unless the target's moving really fast. But you're gonna want to make sure that you kill it with the final. The final blow has to be with one of the weapons, so you cannot. You can switch mid fight, but I'm pretty sure the final hit has to be with one of the new deals. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this achievement. Once you're done, it should appear once you kill the boss. And let's go to the next one. Alright, so for the next achievement, we are going to be going after the checkmate achievement. This is achieved by defeating all of the King Games champions, which is basically once you go up this ladder, this ladder will not be here once you begin, but when you go around the map, you will see that there are more ladders. I can't see them because I've already defeated them. But, if you've already defeated them, then you should already have the achievement. But, they switch, and they, uh, they change positions every single time, so once you beat the first one, you're going to want to go down all the way around the map, and you should have all four. So, what you need to do for this achievement is you do not need to do the gauntlet mode, although there is another achievement for that. But, if you want to get, if you want to get the checkmate achievement, you're gonna want to verse the knight, bishop, rook, and queen. All four of those, like I said, they don't have to be in a row, but you're gonna want to do that to get the achievement. Alright, so for the next achievement, it's going to be a king's admiration. That is achieved by completing the gauntlet mode in up here, in the king's leap. Basically, what the gauntlet mode id is, is it's every single one of the champions back to back, but you do recover health. So it's not as hard, because you don't have to be worried about losing health as long as you don't die. But if you die, you have to redo the whole thing. One thing I can recommend is I would put on Miss Chalice's charm, because a lot of her parries are easier to do because she has the dash parry. But that's all I can really suggest. All you have to do is just keep playing it until you get good enough to beat it. And once you beat the champion, once you beat the gauntlet, you will get the final achievement for this, which is a King's Admiration. So the next achievement we're going to be looking at is Compliments to the Chef. This achievement is pretty straightforward. Once you've gotten all the ingredients from every boss, basically you have to defeat every other boss in the DLC. And once you come back to Salt Baker's kitchen or bakery, he will turn evil and you'll have to do a boss fight. And once you complete that boss fight, the trophy will appear. I have heard that there are glitches with the trophy not actually appearing. I don't know if that happens anymore. But let me know down in the comments if that happened to you. I don't have any solutions for it because nobody really knows how to fix it because the DLC hasn't been out for long enough. But I would recommend just trying to do the boss fight again. Maybe that'll fix something. I'm not sure. Alright, so our next achievement is Cooked to Perfection. Cooked to Perfection is earned by getting a S rank in any of the DLC stages. To get an S rank, you need to get a perfect score. So that is 3 out of 3 HP, 3 out of 3 parries. You have to beat the boss in under 2 minutes. And you have to have used more than 5, or use more than 6 of your super meters. And once you've done that and beat the boss, 
then you should get an S rank, but you have to do it in expert mode. If you do it in normal mode, you'll get an A+, which does not count. You need to do it in expert mode. The only thing I can recommend for this is I got it on the Moonshine mob. I found this one the easiest to do it on, and I used the Astro Cookie because, again, you have that extra hit point, so you have 4 HP instead of 3, but it doesn't sacrifice your damage like the Heart Charm. So that's what I would recommend. All you have to do is really get better at using Miss Chalice because she's a bit difficult to learn. But other than that, that's really all you can do. Just keep practicing the bosses until you get one that you feel confident that you're able to beat. And just keep attempting till you get it with the S rank. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so for the next achievement, this will be the Hi-Hat achievement. This is earned by defeating any of the DLC bosses without killing a uh, minion. So what that means is basically you're not able to kill anything but the boss. So, for example, I did this on Mortimer Freeze. You can do this in simple difficulty, that's what I did, and I had the charge shot enabled. So you're going to want to go into simple difficulty. That makes it way easier than trying to do it on normal mode, or expert even. And what you're going to want to do is you want to charge up your charge shot and make sure you're only hitting the wizard. You're not able to kill any of the guys in the ground. And you're just going to want to try and avoid them. That does not count as killing them because you did not kill it. So what you're just going to want to do is keep doing this until the boss dies and you go on to the next phase, which is this. You can do anything else to defeat the boss, but as long as you don't kill anything, these things are not killable, so they do not count. But what you're going to want to do is keep doing this until you reach the final phase. The final phase is a bit hard to do, but all you have to do is really pay attention and make sure that you don't hit anything else with your charge shot. And that's why the charge shot is the easiest to do this, i found, because you're able to pinpoint what you want to hit. And that was the problem right there. You cannot kill any of the popsicle enemies. I, I'm not quite sure if parrying counts as killing them, but I would recommend doing this as Miss Chalice as you are able to double jump to avoid the bosses. And you're going to want to make sure that you do not hit any of the enemies. This is a bit difficult on your first try. Let me know in the comments below if this is possible with parrying, because I'm not sure, because I've already earned the achievement, so I can't test it. But let me know if you had any problems with this, and if parrying did make it difficult. But all you have to do is defeat that without killing the popsicles or the small ice spikes that the wizard spawns, and you should be good. Alright, so for the final achievement in this section, it will be the hardy achievement, which you have to have 9 HP at one time. How I did this, because I did not know about the, the secret that I'll show you soon, I used the heart ring, which will give you 3 HP, one for your first parry, one for your third parry, and one for your sixth parry. And I went into the king dice boss fight, and I got the 3... HP from each point on the board and then I got the six parries which gave me nine HP I wouldn't recommend doing this because it is way more difficult than the actual way to do it which is all you have to do is spin in a circle for three seconds this is in my last video but you have to spin in a circle for three seconds there you go has to be a, li a little bit faster and this will give you infinite wishes in simple and regular mode, which basically just means when you spawn into any boss fight in simple or regular mode, it'll give you 9 HP instantly. Alright, so I talked more about I talked more about the Jimmy wishes thing in my last videos video, so go check that out. There's also a way to remove it. All you have to do is beat another boss fight. But I talked more about that in my last video, so definitely check that out because it talks about more of the secrets in this.
Alright, so for the final two achievements, they're in the second tab, I guess they are, in the Cuphead trophy list. I don't know what this looks like for Steam or on Xbox, but I'm playing on PlayStation and there are three separate ones. One for the hidden trophies, one for the trophies that you can see, and then one for all of the main game trophies. So, for the first achievement in this, A Horrible Night to Have a Curse, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to Pork Rind's shop and buy the broken relic. The next thing you're going to want to do is talk to each of these. They will tell you where the gravestone positions are in the, in the puzzle that I'm about to talk about. The gravestone positions are not the same for every single person. They're completely different. So you're going to want to talk to each of these. First place, second place, and third place. And they're going to tell you where each of them are. You can take this shortcut if you haven't beat any of the other bosses. But all you have to do is go over to the gravestones. For me, it was this one, this grave, and this grave. And the thing should appear in the middle. And then you can sleep and enter the Dream Devil boss fight. This is completely different for everybody else, but you do need to have the Broken Relic. You don't need to have it equipped. But as soon as you beat the Dream Devil boss fight, a horrible night to have a curse, the trophy should appear. After you've beaten the Dream Devil boss fight, you should have the Cursed Relic. The Broken Relic should have turned into the Cursed Relic. For me, it's the Divine Relic, but... What you have to do with that is you need to equip the Cursed Relic and go around to every single DLC boss and beat them with the Cursed Relic equipped. Once you've done this, it should turn into the Divine Relic, and then that should pop the Paladin Trophy. Once you've done all those boss fights and it's turned into the Divine Relic, you should get it once you've beaten the final boss. And that's pretty much it for every single trophy in the DLC. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll make sure to answer them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.